Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to my channel. This Q&A is a very special episode for two reasons. Reason number one, I reached 10,000 subscribers. I'm so happy. When I started this channel, I didn't even think I would reach a thousand, let alone 10,000. So I'm just, I'm over the moon. So thank you to each and every one of you that have subscribed to my channel. Whether you've been with me from the beginning or whether you've just found me, I really appreciate it. And I hope you continue to follow me on this YouTube journey and keep enjoying my content. And reason number two is, <clears throat> Right, are you ready for this? I am going to be joined by my better half, the man behind the magic, his debut appearance on my channel, my camera guy! Hey! Welcome to my channel. So, in the words of Scylla Black, what's your name and where'd you come from? Hi ladies, my name's Jack. <laughs> I'm from Nottingham. Um, <laughs> Is that was the question, right? Yeah. Ladies. <laughs> hey, ladies. Ladies. <laughs> nah, just kidding. My name's Jack. Um, I'm from Nottingham, um, which is a city in the middle of England, for those who aren't familiar with the UK. Yeah. But that's also where we met. But that more about that later, I guess. Yeah. So Jack's going to join me today. I've got... I took to Instagram and to YouTube and asked if anybody had any questions for us. So we're going to talk about questions. We've got questions for Jack. We've got questions about us as a couple, like where we met, what our future holds. Also some <laughs> editing questions as well, because as you all know, he edits all my videos. It's not me. Shock. I know. It's Jack. I want to ask you a question before we start. How do you feel about being on this side of the camera? Are you nervous? Are you excited? To be honest, I feel really <laughs> privileged. I've watched your channel for many years. I've been a big supporter. Um, I've watched, I reckon, every single video you've ever done. Um, big fan. Right so here. to be, you know, to be featured on the channel myself is it's a massive privilege. So. It's an honor, it really. What is. can I say? I'm, you know, I'm wilting under the weight of the occasion. Okay, great. Well, that's good to know. Um, so let's get started with some questions for Jack. Far uh, away. First of all, nice easy one. What's your favourite colour? Blue. Blue. Yeah, I knew that. What is your favourite Netflix movie or TV show? Narcos. Narcos. <laughs> yeah. Definitely Narcos. We're not a big fan of the films though, are we? No, the films are a bit rubbish on Netflix, I think. But I think the series is really good. Um, we are currently enjoying Love is Blind. Absolutely fire. And you're a white guy. She's a black woman. Let's talk about that. This marriage could tear me and my family apart. It's <laughs> very good. Absolutely fire. Um, and another favorite we really enjoyed was you. That's very scary. Yeah, very, very scary. Can we get real for a second? You have questionable taste in friends. And a guy needs to protect himself. Um, but Decent, yeah. though. I agree. Narcos, for sure. So, somebody asked me, what flavour of chips do you like? Which crisps it means. But they didn't just, like, leave it at that. They suggested three, which, I'm sorry, I find these flavours bizarre. Uh, cucumber, cherry, or ice cream. That is weird. Mental. That is so weird. Who um, that? They all sound disgusting, right? I'll be honest. We've um, had the cucumber ones before. We've had the cucumber ones before. No, Not a fan. Not. Very weird. Quite sweet. Mm -hmm. Very odd. Uh, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of the Christian China. Actually, you should watch Nicola's second to last video. Yeah. Yeah. The 7-Eleven yes. video. Yeah, so she tried a load of snacks in 7-Eleven. A lot of horrible stuff. It's <laughs> a horrible flavour crisp. I didn't try anything because I'm a massive wuss. But I made her try everything. Yeah. It's pretty funny. I'll put a clip on now. <laughs> God, it's got a tone it. Oh, it's so horrible. This is also really spicy after taste. Woo! Oh, I don't like that. That is bizarre. That is weird. Okay, hope you enjoyed that clip. That was, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was 7-Eleven uh, uh, with Nicola. Uh, click the link here after yeah. this video. Link after watching here, this okay. video. Okay, okay, next one. This is from me. If you were a superhero, what superhero, like, what would you be your superhero name and what would be your special power? 
Wow, that's massively put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> we don't even watch superhero things. No, to be I honest, yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a big superhero guy. Um, can I be a little bit selfish? I feel like I feel like superheroes yeah. are normally good, but uh, selfishly, I just like to be able to eat and never get full. That would be pretty good. <laughs> you like already do that? That's yeah, well, I normally half an hour after I finish eating though. <laughs> That's will, a rubbish okay. superpower. What about like what would flying you or? What do you do? I th- I think I would want to fly. Actually, I lie. I'd like to be able to see back in time. <laughs> you know, walk on the moments. Travel. Yeah, time, time travel. travel. Time okay. travel. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That would be pretty cool. If you could wake up anywhere in the world, where would it be? Next to me, of course. Next to you, somewhere snowy. And mountainous, yeah, yeah, somewhere snowy and mountainous. I would go for a nice day skiing, and then come back after a nice day skiing and have a nice dinner with you. <laughs> I can't ski anymore because I had an accident recently, so that's my ski career over. Um, yeah, mountains are good. I enjoy the mountains, but obviously now I can't enjoy them so much. So I would probably pick a beach somewhere. Um, but then I get, yeah, I pick a beach. Um, what does your hubby do in China? What do you do in China, Jack? I make videos. Yeah. Yeah, so... Not make, just for me. Not just for her. No, that's true. Um, so I do kind of uh, got my finger in a lot of different pies, really. Uh, <laughs> besides making lovely Nico's lovely videos, um, I do a lot of work for media company, um, making more videos. Also a lot of freelance stuff, uh, so like adverts tour company things like that sort of thing corporate stuff um pretty much anything um actually link to my website in the bio below always there's always a link to his website always in the bio a link. Below. i'm sure none because... of you ever click it but <laughs> yeah. this time this time because you make all of our stuff and we yeah, yeah. so we do it together um so hey mr mysterious camera guy What's your daily routine? Good one to follow on from what you do. What's your daily routine? My daily routine is normally, well, if it's a weekday or a weekend, it's different. Um, Obviously, weekday, I normally get up. um, I'll jump in the shower. Pretty boring. (laughs) And then go downstairs. I play with our beautiful dog. Such a cutie. I'll insert a clip here. (laughs) Stop that. Hope you enjoyed that clip. Yeah, I love to play with our like cute little dog. Um, then I will normally sit at my computer, do a load of editing. A few hours later, you will start to wake up. <laughs> I'll then make you breakfast in bed. No, uh, you never make me breakfast in I'll bed. I'll make her breakfast in bed. You do not. Uh, he does not. With a rose, uh, fresh coffee, freshly made croissants, bacon myself. I'll do some more editing. Then we have lunch. Do some more editing. Yeah, we're working from home day, in a minute. Yeah, so. we're from home. It was a good day. We'll end up going to the pub. How? Do you feel working with Nico? I love working with Nico. But I'll be honest. It's amazing. Ah, thanks. Like it. Cute. So, I mean, we went to South America, didn't we, together? And we travelled I thought for... that was going to be the end of that, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> no story. Sorry, no time for story time. <laughs> when did you last shave? <laughs> like a week ago. I shaved As you can all see, I look like a all. baby. So I, because we haven't to wear masks at the moment, I, my beard was getting pretty long because we'd been at home for a couple of months, not really been out a lot. So my beard was getting pretty bushy, much like my hair is now. It's an absolute mess. It's normally about half this length. Really nice long beard. I, I had like a lovely beard. long beard. I thought, okay, it's probably not not the best. It's not really like sealing around the mask. So I thought I'd give it a little trim. I broke my beard guard a while ago. Zzz, yeah. Went straight down. Well, and then I tried to neaten it up and then, yeah, this happened. Yeah, a bit of a slip, but it still looks good. It's going in a little bit. You can probably guess who this question's off. Uh, do you still carry pocket sweets? Yes. <laughs> and sometimes pocket chewing gum. Quickly, background on this one. The first time that Jack ever met my best friends, we went to a festival together, and we were really drunk, and it was in the day, and we were just sat down, chilling, and then he just whipped out a load of pocket sweets and was like, does anyone want a pocket sweet? And my uh, best friend thought it was hilarious, which I mean, it is hilarious who carries sweets around you apparently. And to be honest, quite like it because I get hangry a lot of the time. Yeah, for sure. So now that's the reason why he carries pocket sweets. Yeah, when we're filming. 
need to keep her blood sugar up, otherwise oh, yeah. she get cranky. You are so handsome. Have you ever considered a career in front of the camera rather than behind? Oh, and this is from... Oh, this is from Square Peg Media. Isn't that you? You loser. You it's a joint account, though, so I think you must have... Um, I sent it. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, let's get well, do you have over a, that one. Yeah, do you ever said that? Thank um, you. So I, I think this might be a spammy one because we get lots of, got lots of spammy things on Instagram. Like, why? Who are these bots that just spam you? Anyway, it says, hello, do you like aerial photography? Yes, I do. Yeah, obviously. Have you seen our films? Fly drone. Can't fly a drone in Beijing though. That's yeah. a wounder. Have you ever had reverse culture shock when you go back to your home country? Yes. Yeah. And the more years that we kind of live away, or at least for me, I find like the more extreme that that is. Yeah. You know, like last time it was just bizarre. And like, to be honest, I feel like, um, you know, I was going around with my friend and he was like, I felt like I was having to babysit me. I, I spent a bit of time <laughs> with my brother. It's like I was having to babysit me. I just like, I felt completely, you know, just, I had no idea what was going on. I had no phone sim. I had nothing. In China, yeah. I feel like I know exactly what I'm doing. Like, I could arrive, arrive back at the airport here. We knew exactly what was going on. There, I was just, you know, I was lost. But I think the, the difficult thing is when we do go back home, we only go back home for holiday, so we don't have a sim. So it is harder. There's not, yeah. like, Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, and it's like, just bizarre hearing people speak English as well. Like, everyone's speaking English. I find I'm just, like, if we're in a restaurant or something, I just get really nosy and I'm just... Like listening, like oh, I can hear what the, I can understand everything that people are saying. <laughs> I'm quite a no nosy guy anyway, but yeah. Price as well, culture 100% shock. Yeah, price, yeah. I'm sure you guys miss your home country's cuisine, despite great Chinese cuisines. Obviously, is there a place you guys think is authentic enough, or do you primarily make it yourselves at home? Is lack of spices ingredients a problem? I would say that, like um, in Beijing, you can get amazing food from all around the world probably better than like in terms of the international food on offer probably better than the city where i'm from in the uk um I, I, to be honest i'm not a big fan of british food british, british food <laughs> what but british what i would food? say is in the uk is like we have you know it's a quite a quite a diverse country compared to a lot of european countries i'd say so like the food is incredibly varied you can eat good food from all around europe and all around the world so i kind of miss that but to be honest, I think we eat really well here. Yeah, I think we eat really well here as well. Um, I think British cuisine, there's a pub in Beijing called Arrow Factory, and that's very... Yeah, hit that it's, Yeah, that's good. They do some good pub food. They do a really good pie there. Um, we made a video about this as well, didn't we? Oh, yeah, it's in our um, Western food video. Don't come here. But we cook a lot here. I mean, I wouldn't say it was typically British food, but no, um, definitely. and we can get most things, I think, spices-wise, and we do a lot of cooking. Well, he does a lot of cooking. I'm okay, cook. You are definitely better than me. Um, when did you get interested in making videos, and when did you start taking it more seriously? Realistically, with well, it's two questions really, isn't it? Interested in making videos, I guess I've always had like a bit of an interest in it. I actually started off taking photos more. I've always just really liked taking photos. Um, you don't do that as much now. No, I don't really have the time as much, yeah. but I do love photography. For me, actually, like editing photos or taking photos is like super relaxing. I very rarely get the chance to do it, but that's kind of more like I guess my hobby now because video is is my profession. Yeah. But kind of just progressively over the years, I just started getting more and more into video. Um, a big thing for me is I love skiing and love the mountains. And I grew up as a kid just obsessed with ski films and like films about people doing crazy stuff in the mountains. And that's that's kind of what I wanted to do. Still that's, can. In terms of taking it seriously, that's just been kind of like a gradual step. First, it just took many years to kind of learn my craft. And I took it seriously, but I wasn't sure if I could make a career out of it per se. But I think once kind of you get to a certain level, that's a possibility. Yeah, I think it really bumped it when we came here as well. Yeah, I feel I like think it was more really... of a hobby. Um, and then when we came here and we started this channel, it kind of became more serious. Right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so they're the ones that are like 
just for you. I, oh, my wine's over there. That's not fair. This was the most popular question. I had that so many people ask this question, which is fair enough because I probably want to know the same. And it was how did we meet? How did we meet, Jack? I don't really remember. <laughs> We went out separately, obviously, because we didn't know each other. We met in a club. I was dancing with my friends and one of Jack's friends went past me and felt my ass. And I'm Northern and got really angry. Feisty one. I am a bit feisty when I'm drunk. So I followed him and was like, oh, what do you think you do? I'm feeling my ass. Um, and he walked over to Jack and then I saw Jack. And I was like, oh, I like your shirt. And then that was it, really. And the rest is history. Yeah, that was it. That's all it took. It was a nice shirt. <laughs> Smack <laughs> on the ass and a nice shirt. You're a simple girl. Simple taste. I am a simple girl, yeah. The, the night was a bit of a good blur, but I still remember a lot from like our first date and the conversations that we had. Yeah. I remember three conversations very strongly. We'll save them for another time. <laughs> well, actually, that links me onto our next question, which says, which is, tell us about your favourite moments together. Oh. I rudely interrupted you earlier about our South America trip. And for me, our favourite moment, like, is probably that entire trip, to be honest. I'm not sure if I could... I could probably pinpoint a few bits, like... For me, to be honest, all of the amazing places we've been together. I think that's the thing we have a shared passion for is travel. And whether that was, you know, when we first met, we were both in the UK or and kind of traveling around Europe more. Um, and then, yeah, going to South America for more than a year. Mm. And now kind of our Asian adventure. Yeah, like... All of our travel experiences, basically. Do you ever struggle, get annoyed with each other when you work on projects together? surprisingly very little not anything major to be honest the biggest thing is probably when we're shooting and if we're both hangry yeah that's exactly what I was that's literally say. the only time because shooting is stressful there's there's no way around that and like there are times where maybe you get annoyed with each other but not not really uh, to be honest i think we we have a lot of the same creative visions or like we share a lot of you know we, sh we have a lot of the same kind of thoughts on how things should be and also, the other thing is, is we we're both big planners, and we really plan out our videos first. So we know how they how they're going to go and how they look. And depending on whichever one of us comes up with the idea for a video, we'll always share it with the other person first. We'll like write loads of scripts together. Like if I came up with a script, Nicola would then rewrite it, and then I would rewrite it again, and she'd rewrite it. And we'd each kind of yeah. keep trying to make it better and better, or vice versa. Whoever kind of came up with something. So I think when it comes to the actual making of it, we kind of normally have an idea yeah i mean like for us the creative process is really fun and we really enjoy doing yeah. it together and so it's always a joint thing we always having ideas together and it's always like a team effort so like we never get annoyed with each other because Plus we can like delegate because we don't both we do have, the same yeah. thing like, normally Second, she's in yes. front of the camera i'm behind the camera so we both have our clearly defined roles so yeah um, i think that really helps actually because we really do have clearly defined roles especially with the other bits yeah. as well but yeah um if i'm hungry i'm a nightmare for sure talking about working on projects together we've actually got a very special announcement to make oh yeah yeah Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got a very special announcement to make. Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on to the edge of your seat? So, we've decided we want to keep being in your feed every week and be really regular with content. Obviously it's quite difficult for us because we spend a lot of time on our videos, we try and make them as high quality as possible. And we both have full time jobs, so to to make a video in a week is just, every week is just impossible for us. So we've decided to start a new series. A podcast. Well, a video podcast. And so we're going to try and do it every other week. The moment we've been releasing videos every Sunday, but what we're going to try and do is have like alternate it. So we have like a video yeah. podcast one week where we sit down, we have a chat. Um, we tell a bit like this, stories. but it's going to be maybe uh a little bit more structured structured yeah we're gonna maybe ask some questions on instagram and on youtube so like 
if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always asking questions. So I'll probably ask like, what's your funniest travel story or what's your so best each each week I think we'll we'll yeah. like dive into like a deeper topic. So we'll take mm -hmm. one topic but we'll like really dive or in like a couple. Dissect it. Yeah. Dissect yeah. them. And then eventually uh, we might progress and we might start interviewing some people. That's the tra plan. Travel related people. Um, and hear their story as well. So it should be hopefully interesting if you find us interesting. If you're still watching, you probably do. So let's move on to our next sets of questions. Um, they're all about China. A few people asked like, uh, what motivated you to move to China and build a life there? The next one's like, how did you decide as a couple to move to China? Well, I think like uh, we were traveling for like a long time before that. Um, so we'd already kind of, lot we didn't have roots in the uk really anymore um we didn't want to stop traveling. no we didn't really want to stop traveling um but we also needed to kind of settle down and work somewhere for a while because you know money doesn't last forever you decided yeah i think it was me <laughs> nicola broached the subject of coming to china and it, it was, was in the jungle wasn't it when yeah we were, when we were volunteering in the jungle we volunteered in an animal sanctuary in the bolivian jungle it's just like let's just move to china Let's do it. Seems like a great idea. So we did it. So we did. I remember we made SUVs in that little pizza place. Yep. So yeah, decided to... Take the plunge. I think yeah. we were both super interested in it. It wasn't like random, like we're like, oh, throwing a dart in the map. <laughs> we both had always been kind of interested in China for like different reasons and the same yeah. reasons that like it always been a place that fascinated both of us. So it wasn't totally random. No. And also like we just been in South America for like a year. And so the culture in South America is completely different to Asia. Um, and w I mean, I'd been to Asia, but not really like a few holidays here and there, but not really. So we just wanted to experience something like totally completely new. different. The opposite end of the spectrum from South America. Yeah. Um, would you try another country? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Next question. How long have you stayed in China? Three years. Three years, yeah. yeah no, three, three years. Three years next month. Yeah. Wow. Beginning of April. That's gone fast. So fast. That's so fast. That is really, yeah, I can't believe it's been three years. What's your impression of China before visiting? I didn't feel like I had much of a... Imp Mysterious? Yeah. I didn't know what to expect. Well, my mum had been a few times. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. like, I'd seen her pictures and um, she told me her stories when she'd been. Um, but I didn't have any, like, preconceptions about it. I was just excited that I was somewhere different. How long does it take to adopt Chinese culture, meals and etc. for a European? If you're someone who's, like, totally open to new experiences, like, you come here and you just land on your feet. I mean, to be honest, for us... It didn't just phase us at all, really. Like, we found things super interesting, but, I mean... And it's not easy being no. in China, but I think if you just kind of jump into it with, like, an open mind, you'll be fine. I feel like there was a few people, like, on our training that just were not prepared for this. And yeah. And they maybe would take a little bit longer to adapt. I or... guess we were quite privileged in that we'd, s we'd seen a lot of the world already, relatively speaking, so, like, we... You know, we were pretty adaptable, I think. Yeah. And we're pretty chill. Uh, do you guys speak Chinese? That's a no from me. But you do a little bit. Badly. <laughs> uh, how many cities have you guys, have you visited in China? Let's go through them. Beijing. Beijing. Nanjing. Tianjin. Shanghai. Shanghai. Suzhou. Suzhou, Hongzhou. Shenzhen. Xi'an. I uh, like cities in Yunnan and... and oh, and sure, yeah. We've been to Guilin. Guilin. We've been to uh, Kunming. So we've been to like a few big cities, but we've also explored a lot of smaller places Lijiang, as well. Lijiang, Dali. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're missing some. Someone have a look through our videos. If you oh, want yeah. to answer that, yeah, have a look through all the videos, videos we've made and see how many we missed. We haven't... We, we probably haven't. made a video about a few more places. Much. We'd like to visit a lot more. There's a lot For of sure. cities There's so many places we'd like and to go to. what are your favourite lesser known spots in Beijing? For me, I just like walking around the hutongs. Mm. Um, we we live in the hutongs and like we live in quite like a local one. It's not too touristy. Well, it's not touristy at all. There's nothing really to see here, but also there's so much to see in the sense of just walking around. Like, I just love it. I just could, I w went for a walk, dog, walk with the dog today for an hour and just kind of was walking around and mm. just looking at stuff. 
super interesting taking pictures of doors yeah we spend a Good lot one. of our time in the hutongs i mean we go to a few western places like el nido nina's is our favorite <laughs> Why did you choose to work and live in Beijing? Actually, it was kind of by accident. We actually didn't live in Beijing. We moved here. We moved to Nanjing, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> when we moved to China, we moved to Nanjing for a year. And we really liked Nanjing. It was really great. Um, but just on the off chance, someone in our office like mentioned uh, this job in Shenzhen. So I was like, okay, I'll apply for that. And so I applied for this job in Shenzhen and then they said that the position had been filled, but they had a similar one in Beijing. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go for that. And I got the job. So we moved to Beijing. Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah, good decision. Don't regret it. It was a great decision. I love yeah. Beijing. So yeah, me too. So it was kind of by accident, but for my job, basically. Uh, are you going to permanently live in China? Probably, Probably not. not. No. No. I mean... The reality is there's still so much of the world we want to see. I mean, we're very happy for here here at the moment, and I don't see us leaving anytime soon, but there yeah. is still a lot we want to see. So and a lot we want to do, and other places we want to live and travel to, um, which the next question says, like, what is your future plans? More and more travel. We'd like to go to Africa, the yeah. Middle East, um, like Central, Central Asia. Asia. They're kind of the big places in my book. Yeah, well, and my dad's got a van. He renovated a yeah. van. We'd like to drive around so, Europe. Yeah. So many things. We'll see. Cool. Well, that's the China stuff. So now this is all you. This is onto our editing. Wine break. Yeah. Why not? So, did you take a course on how to make edit videos? If so, any suggestions would be great. Not a course, no. Uh, I've never done kind of any, had really any formal training, to be honest. Oh, I did a little bit of photography. Oh, it was it photography, okay. Yeah, um, so I've done a little bit. So I had like a, I have a knowledge in kind of photography anyway, which I think definitely helps. I think for like video, um, the best thing you can possibly do is just give it a go. And the reality is your videos are just going to suck for a long time. And just keep making lots and lots of videos. And I think the key thing is, is for me, it's like looking at, looking at, like making a video, thinking like, okay, what didn't I like? Okay, that thing there didn't look great. What what part of it didn't look great? Then I would learn, type into YouTube or type into Google, yeah, YouTube. how to make this part better. And then you kind of just watch a specific tutorial on that, then go shoot a video the next day, you nail that bit. Then you look at the next bit and you're like, okay, well that bit kind of sucks. I also think just like watching a lot of stuff like online that you kind of like and just like analyzing it and thinking like, okay, I wonder how I do that and then trying to figure it out. So kind of a lot of trial and error is the main thing, I would say. And practice. It's such a cliche, but like you really need to practice and be disciplined. And if you, you know, the more hours you spend doing it, the better you're going to get, really. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Like, I think the more you practice at anything the better you're going to get. So, like, if you start doing something, like, I mean, our first videos were not... The other thing great. I'd say as well is, like, with videos is you need to, like, have a little think about the, the kind of the planning of them and, like, what you want to achieve. Because at the end of the day, you could, like, if you just go out and, like, film a load of random stuff, like, your videos are never going to get better because you're filming the same stuff. So you need to kind of, like, be thinking about this, like, okay, well, I'd like to make try a different type of video so what do i need to do to get those shots to then edit them otherwise th yeah. like you can't really just take like, like with if, filming with a purpose yeah i think if you if you just go like for five years and like every so you did a daily vlog for five years but you did exactly the same thing then you're just going to get exactly the same video and i think it's helpful to kind of push yourself out of your comfort zone and even if you don't have a youtube channel whether you do or you don't you can just do something just for fun and like that will help you you know well, I think that answered my next question, which was any tips for a beginner? Practice. Practice, yeah. You Watch go. YouTube videos. Honestly, you can learn anything on YouTube. And like, I know that there's some course, like, s courses that people promote. Um, maybe. Like you MZ know? Masterclass, those sorts of things. Like, um, there's a th like there are there are courses you can take which will mm -hmm. literally take you from the beginning to the end of something and like that's probably a good way to go. Um, I just haven't 
got experience of it myself. What program do you use to edit videos? <clears throat> and also editing software recommendations for beginners. So is that... Yeah, so I think, do? yeah, I think, like, with in terms of editing software, like, there's some really basic editors out there, and it depends what you want to do. Um, like, things like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, if that still exists, on PC or Mac, depending which one. Um, they're, like, fine if you probably just wanted to line up some simple clips. To be honest, though, like, I would recommend, as a beginner, you, you still use the same thing that, like, many professionals w would use, which would probably be the, like, Final Cut on Mac or... Adobe Premiere, which is part of the Creative Suite on Mac or Windows. I personally use Premiere, but I've I also used uh, Final Cut for many years. Both of those as editors, like or editing suites, they're fine for just literally plonking a load of clips on the timeline. You can do that all the way up to editing like a feature length movie. Like they have so many, like you can kind of go all the way into like a super advanced way, but they're super easy to get started with as well. Yeah, I think it, sometimes, like, it can be really daunting to start with, like, you think it's, like, a big, um, like, a program that's kind of, you're not used to or something. So many buttons. Yeah. And you use, like, even me now, what I would say is, like, if I go on Premiere, like, which is what I use, um, I use, like, probably 5% of the functions, 95% of the time. And then, like, there's all these different, like, bells and whistles you can do, but, like, yeah, well, Still. I mean, you showed me how to cut up some clips the other day, yeah. and it was super easy. Like, I mean, I kind of use a lot of other Adobe stuff anyway, so, I mean, I'm not a complete novice on the computer, but I think eventually, if it's something that you want to do, like, mm. start off with the most advanced program, because if that's eventually what you're going to use, there's no point in learning, like, three different programs, just learn one, oh, and yeah. the only way you're going to get better, it's the same with, like, any Adobe thing, like, Photoshop's the same when people like ask about making thumbnails on Photoshop like or Illustrator It's like I don't use Photoshop to make my thumbnails I use Illustrator because that's what I'm better at and I just think it's more versatile And so using all these things the only way that you're gonna get better is to practice them. Do yeah them more for sure um, so I want to know the whole process What it looks like making a video from planning to filming and editing well, that's, that's a lot for this video. That's far probably too long for this. That's probably a lot for this video. Um, we've been talking about the possibility of making some behind the scenes videos to show you our process. For instance, making a video. I or... love those videos. I love. Watching... I love watching these videos. I love as watching well. seeing what other people do. Maybe not everyone does though. So if you yeah. do, leave a comment. Let us know. Um, and let us know like. What specific things, is there anything specific you'd like to know about, like how we make videos or anything oh, like that? Or like a specific part of a video, like how we do that certain thing. thing. Anyway, that was our last question. Already? Yeah, already. We've been talking for ages. Anyway, to top it off though, I've got a little game. Okay. Are you excited? Not particularly, Are you no. excited? I'm excited. Okay, I've got a little game. So it's called, well, it's not called anything. It's like the either or game. You definitely know what to do. So I'm going to ask you, going to say two things and you're going to pick like the fastest. Just as a side, it's, well, it's a well-known fact amongst close friends of mine that I hate games. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to be on my best behavior tonight. You know, as the, I'm a guest on this channel, and I know that. So if I want to get invited back again, I know I need to play ball. So. Yeah, okay. So um, you just need to... It's a really easy game. You just need to tell me what you think, right? Well, which which you would pick, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Sweets or chocolate? Sweets. Beach or mountains? Mountains. Brittany or Christina? Christina. Ooh. Pizza or garlic bread? Pizza, but garlic bread goes with every meal. But pizza is the ultimate meal, so... Uh, okay, hotel or hostel? Hostel, probably. Pepsi or cola? Pepsi. 60s or 80s music? 60s. Biggie or Tupac? 
I would say two pack, but we've been listening to a lot of big recently. recently. I know that. That's why. I'm That's probably it's like a bit of a pendulum. It probably swings year to year on year. Yeah, I mean, generally, I would say two pack, but we have been listening to a lot of Biggie, and it, I mean that that album's banging. So, I'll let you off on that one. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise, if I make it. Too hot or too cold? Would you rather be too hot or too cold? Too cold, I think. Would you? Too hot. You can see where you want. Okay. Uh, it's up to you. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Train or plane? Train. Wine or beer? Beer. Nailed it. There you go. Well done. Awesome. Okay. So that was fun, wasn't it? That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I changed my statement. I retract my statement. I now enjoy playing games. Is that no joke? I'm a game player. Uh, okay. So that is all of our questions for today. And. All of our games for today, the end of our thing. How do you feel? I feel great. Did you enjoy that? I did enjoy that, you know. Yeah, it was that's real fun, fun actually. I, I enjoy doing things with you. I like talking to you. It doesn't happen <laughs> often, but you know. <gasps> Just like 23 hours a day. Yep. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this too and you don't just think we're a bunch of idiots just chatting away all evening. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy our podcast, video podcast that we're going to release soon and that you enjoy watching that, listening to that on the go, whatever you feel. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, then hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification to make sure you get all of my content in your inbox. If you don't, then you might miss some and you don't want to miss anything. Uh, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see Jack again soon, leave a comment below. I'll see you next time. Bye. That was fun. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs>